Hi, we are at the Automation for Smart Manufacturing Conference at uh, Coimbatore. This is the third edition. Automation Industry Association is organizing it here at Coimbatore. We are uh, having with us uh, Nachiket uh, Dio. He is the head of business at uh, Wipro Pari. We are also having with us Sachin, uh, who takes care of the sales at uh, Wipro Pari. So, uh, how do you think that uh, the initiatives like Automation for Smart Manufacturing can help the industries to adopt uh, automation? Uh, I, I must say this is a very good initiative that uh, AIA is doing and uh, because previously there used to be an image in most of the people's mind that automation is something which is very fancy which is to be done only by the companies who are operating at a very large scale and they can only go for smart manufacturing and uh, stuff like that. But nowadays that's, that's not the situation. There are alternatives, there are ways and means to uh, adapt smart manufacturing and uh, when it comes to smart manufacturing, it's not only limited to the robotics and automation. There are various other uh, areas that you can attack and uh, make sure that the organization that you are running, the manufacturing plant that you are running, that uh, is following the smart manufacturing technologies. See, Wipro Pari brings a very, very interesting uh, picture. So most of the, uh, you know, discussions what we had today, we're talking more about the software part of it. Now, Wipro is a company which is very famous for IT, and Pari is a homegrown uh, manufacturer. So how this association happened, and is it something what we can learn from this? This association itself can talk about, you know, what we can learn from this. As you said, Pari is a homegrown company of uh, India. Now we were targeting to be, or we are still targeting to be the uh, top five global companies engaged into automation and robotics. So definitely we wanted to have a much bigger platform. Because globally this is a very big industry. So we wanted to have a bigger platform. And similarly, Wipro was looking forward to have a partner who, who is expert in physical automation and they can utilize their expertise uh, from the soft uh, automation part and collaboratively we can amongst the top five companies globally. So that was the vision and that, that's really helping us to uh, grow rapidly. So uh, we will I think to that's what I am somewhat I am telling. Uh, maybe Wipro is a multinational. See, Wipro comes and takes Pari. It, it can be just a merger, but there is a bigger vision to it. And here also we are trying to hear about all these people, you know, and we are hearing that how IT can change a product. Every product is trying to become smart because of it, and you have the better example. I would say down the line, say in 10 years or 15 years, the physical automation would be a commodity. That will be a commodity, and the softwares, uh, so today we are talking about some AI software, today we are sort of talking about some data acquisition, uh, things like that. So these softwares will play a major role. See now, Paris is in the global level, uh, you sell across the world, but it took its own time, there was no benchmark for you, but today what you see that where Pari can play an inspirational role or a benchmark for the growing Indian SMEs. As you are saying, definitely there was no benchmark uh, set by an Indian company at that time when we, when we started, but definitely we were targeting or we were looking uh, at our global customers at the uh, projects that they had on their shop floor and we were trying to adapt the technologies and we, we see that nowadays the other companies which are growing in India, other companies, they are uh, following the same uh, steps and going forward there will be many other Indian companies as well which will have their stamp uh, not only in India but globally. And, and wish you all the best for that totally and for also for Vipro Pari also to do more wonders. Okay Sachin, I just want to ask you one thing. You are the barrier who tries to go and reach out to these industries and tell to adopt these automation solutions so that they can get benefited. But what is the response you get it from the market? See, uh, looking at the present market scenarios, see majority of the OEMs who was there at the initial level, they used to uh, say that, okay, we'll go for the automation in the next phase and all. But nowadays, that has become the initial phase for them for the developing uh, things. Because nowadays the demand, looking at the demand, or everyone is been concentrating on the quality perspective. 
so looking at that particular thing this is a mandatory thing everyone is uh, looking for and you are a happy person for that matter yeah, because absolutely absolutely <laughs> <laughs> the, the business are coming to us exactly see one is the business and other thing is that uh, anyway that looking at the market exposures in uh, what's happening in the indian nowadays so looking at the either it may be ev or it's maybe the upcoming uh, whatever technology is there but this is the one of the uh, opportunities in india for the growing market to add uh, one point uh, to what sachin just mentioned nowadays culturally it is becoming a uh, inherent part of the uh, manufacturing industry uh, and how it has changed I'm, i'm working in this industry for more than two decades now so previously whenever somebody used to ask for any automation the um, rio used to be uh, calculated based on what's the salary of my uh, operator and how many days it will take to cover this salary and what's the advantage but nowadays people talk about quality they talk about efficiency they talk about up time down time and uh, many other things so it is not limited uh, to that manpower cost which used to be a major or i would say in many cases only uh point of view uh, indian manufacturing or india changed after covid yes so this is a something which we have seen that that's what i also talk about the value yes value proposition people are not we were a price sensitive market sure you of know we always think we take a, a mercedes and see that you know how much uh, mileage we get uh, but this, this thing have changed i don't know only that fmcgs or the pharmaceutical companies the food uh, they had this trouble of uh, not getting the people but the entire industry have changed now they are looking at value skills are top you know we are talking about skill we are not getting the right kind of people so people were able to stop for some time yes and think about it and they seen the value of what you people are bringing into the table right. and i think uh, events like this will definitely trigger uh, you know these movements what uh, companies like bipro paris doing thank you for having your time sharing your time with machine maker and let's make india grow yes yes it was a really honor to be here uh, and it was a really inspiring thing Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.